Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Thanks for tuning back in. Today we got to talk about jigs. And you know, I'm sitting down here on the river's edge. It was a hot summer day. And uh, you know, I've had the kids down in the water most of the day. That's what we do during the summer. We fish, we swim, we look for clams, look for frogs, do kid stuff. And uh, I'm just, you know, it just makes me happy to see them doing that type of stuff versus, you know, watching TV and playing video games all day but uh that's one of the reasons we chose to live on a river was knowing that we wanted to get our kids outdoors and we're doing that so it's a it's a hot summer day so we were out here most of the day i'm pretty exhausted not gonna lie to you but uh one of the things that i was doing well down here was reading some of the comments that i've been getting from you guys the subscribers and i figured i'd answer one of the questions that i've gotten and it's a, it's a question I've gotten from a lot of people, uh, and it regards throwing finesse jigs. Like, when do you throw a finesse jig versus other jigs that are out there? And it's really a good question, because honestly, in my opinion, the finesse jig is a year-round jig that will get you more bites on average than a full-size jig. The difference is you will deal with a lot of smaller fish on a finesse jig. And, you know, it's one of those circumstances, do you want to weed through numbers of fish or do you want to fish for strictly a little bit larger size on average? And I don't have an answer as to, you know, what's, what's right or, or wrong in that, in that case, because it really comes down to what you guys want to do. But I will tell you, for me, there are very specific times when I will choose to throw a finesse jig over a full-size jig. And that's what I wanted to talk about, because that's what the question was specifically regarding, is when do you do that? When do you choose a finesse jig? And for me, a lot of it has to do with water temperature, uh, time of year, and just the body of water individually. So specifically, the first thing has to do with water temperature. If I'm fishing temperatures that are below 48 degrees, I'm almost always throwing a compact jig. And that just has to do with the, uh, the, the metabolism of bass is much slower in cold water. And because of that, a smaller bait fish or a smaller forage fish or species like a crayfish will get them a lot further than say having to eat a large uh, gizzard shad in the middle of summer. So knowing that in, a, in the winter months, a small meal will get them as long as a large meal in the summer, I tend to go with smaller baits. And for me, a finesse jig is definitely one of my go-to baits. You know, this is, this is really the only finesse jig that I throw. And this is the Dirty Jigs Blue Claws and Finesse Jig. Uh, I've got it paired with a Berkley three inch Pit Boss. And that bait, as you can see, that bait is probably three inches total in length. I do trim the skirt down quite a bit. Uh, the green pumpkin with the orange uh, skirt material is one of my favorites. But this is, this is really the finesse jig that I throw. There's a lot of other great jigs on the market. This is the one that I have confidence in. And I will throw this anytime the water is below 48 degrees. And it just seems like the fish are much more willing to bite a smaller jig than a large jig in those cold winter months. So that's the first time that I, that's the number one time that I always go with a finesse jig. After that, a lot of it comes down to the, the lake that I'm fishing. So if it's a heavily pressured body of water, I will almost always go with a finesse jig to start with. If I get on a really good bite with the finesse jig, at that point, I will go to a larger jig to see if it limits the number of bites. If in fact that I'm getting less bites with a larger jig, I will revert back to the finesse jig. But I want to know if, if the smaller jig makes a difference on heavily pressured bodies of water. And that could be, you know, fishing pressure. It could be boat, boat traffic. It could be just the total number of people that are on the water. I find that, you know, if you're on a, a body of water that gets a ton of recreational traffic and fishing pressure, that any you're always better off going small and that's when i like to throw a little finesse jig another time i prefer to throw the finesse jig 
is when I'm fishing a body of water that has either smallmouth or spotted bass in it with largemouth. You know, I don't think you will limit the number of bites that you get from largemouth by going with a finesse jig, but I do believe that if you're throwing a full size jig on a body of water that has both spotted bass, well, that has spotted bass or smallmouth with the largemouth, that you will get less bites from both of those two species if you're throwing a full size jig. So I prefer to throw a compact jig or a finesse jig if there are smallmouth or spotted bass in the lake. That's just, to me, I, I feel like I get substantially more bites from those two species as you know, when you mix it in with largemouth. So it doesn't really affect the number of largemouth bites, but I do feel like, and it's not only the number of bites with spotted bass and smallmouth, it's the hookup percentage. I feel like they're much more prone to picking up the tails or the trailer on your jig and the smaller jig that you throw, the better hookups that you get with spotted bass and smallmouth. So if I'm fishing a body of water that has either of those two species mixed in with largemouth, I will always go with a finesse jig. It just, it seems to really increase my production on the water. The last time period that I'll go with a finesse jig over a full size jig really comes down to the spring period and specifically the spawn period. I would much rather throw a small finesse jig if I know that the fish are on beds because I believe that again, that it like before what I was saying with smallmouth and spotted bass, if largemouth are on the bed, they're much more prone to picking up the tails and moving my bait out of the area. A smaller bait means that when that fish picks up my bait, the likelihood is they're going to get the hook and therefore I can, I, I will actually get a hook into them and catch that fish versus a full size jig. They'll pick up the trailer, move it out of the area and you don't get a bit, you know, you don't get a hook set into that fish. So that, those are the times that I really like to throw a finesse jig. For me, it is a huge, huge part of my jig arsenal. I love this bait. Like it, it, it really surprises me how when you downsize your jig, you will increase the number of bites dramatically. Uh, now I will say again, like I said before, you get a lot more bites from smaller fish. But there are times when it's all just about getting bites, right guys? I mean, it's all about, hey, if I can get seven bites today and catch a limit of fish regardless of size, I'm gonna have a good day. So it's not always about catching five giant fish. Sometimes it's about catching just numbers of fish and this bait will do it. I mean, like I said, this, this little compact jig designed by Luke Lawson, a buddy of mine, is really, you know, he's, he's shown me how well this bait can outperform other jigs. So guys, if you're looking for a good jig or you're looking to get more bites on a jig, throw a finesse jig. It really will improve your fishing overall. And I think you'll see that there are times a finesse jig will outshine a full size jig. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, hit the like button, share it on your social media pages, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and stay tuned for a new tip coming out tomorrow. Thanks for watching.